Okay, hi you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison video between the Physicians Formula All-Star Palette and their new Butter Dream Team Face Palette. So they're extremely similar. Like the concept is very similar. You got a couple bronzers, a face powder, blush, and two highlights in the All-Star Palette and in the newer um, Dream Team Palette. We have the same two bronzers, the Butter Bronzer and then the matte butter bronzer that's a little bit darker for contouring. We have two blushes, one highlight, and the face powder. Now, first of all, let me just say, I love both of these palettes. However, the things that they're going to do for you are going to be a little bit different just based on the slightly different, like, you know, product placement and the slightly different shades. This is the vacay mode palette so automatically this is definitely for more tan skin tones um so if you are just naturally a medium to deep skin tone this will be a little bit more geared towards you if you're pale like me um during these fair winter months the only shade in this that i can't really use is the highlight over here it's just so look how soft that is it's just so golden that it just comes off too dark on my skin tone let me actually put that um on my there you go see how it just kind of catches a little shadow it's just because i'm too pale um this does look deep but if i do use it sparingly this blush it actually looks very beautiful even on my fair skin tone this blush in here is a little bit pale it does come off darker on the cheeks as you can see here i did use this palette today to show you guys it does come off deeper on the cheeks um, you know, once you go in with a brush, but if you're in the deeper skin tone, not a true like medium, it probably will be a little bit too light. So it, it kind of is the name of the game when you get into palettes like this, unless you're like the perfect skin tone for this palette, not every single shade is going to work for you, at least not all year round. However, the quality of the products is so good so good for both of these so if you feel like one of these shade ranges will work for you for at least most of the year I definitely definitely recommend I feel like this lighting is not doing a very good job at showing just how blendable these are I feel like I'm looking a little bit blotchy but it does not look like that in person I actually just did the boyfriend check my boyfriend's super picky about my makeup like matching my neck and stuff so he will always tell me if I look crazy he does not hold back. <laughs> I guess it's a, you know, it's a pro and a con. He will not hold back. And he said that it literally is so like well blended. It looks like my skin. So that coming from, I know that sometimes guys are like really dumb about that stuff. They think that this is like wearing no makeup, even though it's a full face of makeup. My boyfriend isn't saying it like that. He's just saying like how blended it is. He will tell me if my makeup looks like crap or looks cakey. Trust me. He will freaking tell me. So that's a good sign coming from my boyfriend. It's super, super blendable. It blends to the point of looking like almost natural, like not natural, but I would say undetectable. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry. It definitely holds up to that buttery name. It's super buttery. It's super, it, it keeps the texture of actual skin. Instead of looking cakey, instead of looking makeup-y, it looks very natural. So I would say if you're on the more pale side, this all-star palette, it's still sold. So it's still going to be your friend. I can actually use the gold in this palette, even when I'm pale. It's just not quite as dark as the other one. If you are always on the fair side, you don't ever fake tan, you don't ever get a tan in the sun or whatever, you are definitely going to want to keep going for the all-star palette. This is still sold in stores. I think in Walmart specifically, um, you have a bronzer, a contour, two highlights, a blush, and a face powder. This all mixes together, this face powder. It all mixes together to like a pretty pale shade. I specifically use that under my eyes and kind of in the like center of the face. And I use a different powder foundation for the rest of my face but it still is really good. And then if you are always in that medium skin tone or you're a pale person who fakes tan, fake tans, or like me, even if I'm wearing sunscreen in the summer, I will get a natural tan. I'm one of the lucky, lucky pale people that does actually tan in the sun. Um, this, I like I said, these five shades here can work for me. This, this face powder is, again, just a little bit darker than the other palette, but not by much. Um, I can still totally wear this even on my most pale, pale days, just not the gold highlight. 
in the summer, every single shade works for me, even the gold highlights. So hopefully, oh, and then to just give you a really good reference, I guess, for my skin tone, hopefully this is a good reference. Um, the foundation that I'm wearing today is actually the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation in the shade, shade Neutral Ivory 6. I have a super, super neutral skin tone. And I'm usually in the, so like if your shade range of foundation goes like fair, light, medium, I'm usually in the light. I'm not the, the palest of the pale, but I'm definitely not in that medium skin tone range. I'm definitely in like the in-between light realm very very neutral so just keep that in mind if you're trying to kind of guess based off of my skin tone and you know depth that is the info that you need so hopefully this was helpful I have no idea if you are you know trying to shop and compare if you already have this one you're wondering if you need the new butter dream team hopefully this helped you out if you have any other questions about this definitely let me know um and then just today I was watching uh the day that I'm filming this I was watching a Emily Noel uh, video and I just saw that they came out the physicians formula came out with the singles the uh, limited edition single like bronzer blush and face powders and now I really want to run to Walmart and try those so let me know if you want me to review those as well um, just let me know down below so hopefully that was helpful to you just wanted to make a quick video just because this is new and I did just pick it up and I figured I love the all-star so much I might as well just review both of them so again yeah hopefully it was helpful I will link everything down below I'll also link all the makeup that I'm wearing just in case you're curious about anything else I will list that down below along with my TikTok my Instagram and my other YouTube channel and I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching it seriously makes my day when you guys watch my videos you have no idea thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in another video very soon bye